Hello everyone. So today in this video, we are going to discuss about MCQ on your environmental factor. So environmental factor means generally your biotic and abiotic factor. So on this regard, what we will do, we will have some discussion of short questions, okay, thoroughly. Okay. So without wasting time, let's begin. Here you can see the first question is the effect of dash factor increases with increase in size. The meaning is suppose you suppose the goats are there and here the population is more. Hmm? If the goat population will increase, what will happen to the tiger population? They will also increase. Getting my point or not? So the question is same. What it is telling? The effect of dash factor increase with increasing. If the size is increasing, the factor is also increasing so that will be coming under what your biotic factor so biotic factor means you see density dependent the factor are dependent upon the density of the insect or in density of the target organism so it will be your density dependent factor understood clearly the next one you see the effect of dash factor are not affected with increase or decrease in the size so this will be your density independent no need to tell you already have discussed yes or no that means abiotic factor next question you see factors which are dependent upon the initial population that means same you see if the initial population of the goat will be more what will happen to the initial population of the tiger they will also increase if less than what will happen they will also decrease yes or no so this is known as what you cannot tell density dependent or density independent what is the factor whether it is catastrophic or facultative that one you need to know if that is dependent upon the initial population means what that is what your biotic you see if temperature is there Whatever the insect is there, will it, will, will it be affected? No. Whatever the initial population of the insect may be there, this won't be affected? Yes or no? That's why there are your what? Abiotic. And abiotic <coughs> means what your? And abiotic means that is your catastrophic. So what is the answer? Which are dependent upon the initial population. That means biotic factor. So the answer will be your facultative factor. So you see how to remember these things. I already have told that how to remember these things during the class time. You see one is biotic, one is abiotic. In biotic what is the example? That is your food. Yes or no? In abiotic what is the example? That is your climate. So F for facultative, C for your catastrophic. Like this you try to remember. Okay. So next. Natural enemies, food and competition. These are what your biotic factor? Yes or no? So they comes under which factor, whether biotic factor or density dependent factor or faculty factor or all of the above. All of the above will be the right answer. Yes or no? There is no confusion. Next, light, humidity, temperature comes under which method? You should, uh, it should be changed. Huh? You see this E should not be there. Okay. So they are coming under abiotic or density dependent or catastrophic all. Yes or no? Same thing. Next, example of non-reactive factor. Predator, this is what your biotic factor, that means reactive. Parasite, this is your biotic factor, that means your reactive. Food, that is your biotic, but this is what your non-reactive. Competition again, biotic and reactive. Yes or no? So you see, this is the only exceptional cases found in this uh, uh, concepts. Yes or no? Huh? Please remember this one. And the particular video I already have uploaded in the YouTube. If you want to see, you can see the description and you can watch through that actually what are the meaning who has given everything in detail uh, that has been given in that particular video. You can go and watch thoroughly. Next, the concept of density dependent and independent factor given by whom? Your Smith. Next, you see concept of faculty and catastrophe given by whom? Your Howard and Fiske. Yes or no? Next. Concept of reactive and non-reactive. This factor is given by whom? Your Nicholson. Yes or no? Huh? All of these things we already have discussed. You please go through the theoretical video if you want to watch properly. So these are all about MCQ on environmental factor. And if any doubt is there, you can ask in the comment box. Okay. So thank you for watching. Have a nice day.